Casa Granny's is in New York. <laughs> We're on our way to Staten Island to meet Marie and she's going to be making us manicotti. Hi, I'm Marie and I'm making manicotti was something that I grew up with. My mom and aunts used to make it all the time. Hope you like it. My great grandmother Chicaroni, my nana Chris, and Papa Nick. They're all from Brooklyn, they're all from Brooklyn. <laughs> Marie lives in Staten Island, New York. She is second generation Italian. Marie blitzes two eggs with one and a quarter cups of water. Next, she adds one cup of plain flour and whisks it into the eggs. Manicotti is a dish which reminds Marie of her Italian roots. When you're making them, you wanna, you wanna have like a rhythm. In Italy, these crepes are called crispelli. They should be pale and soft for easy folding. Manicotti literally means cooked hands. Next she makes the filling. One egg, um, and we're going to use about two, two and a half cups of ricotta. Marie uses lots of ricotta. And you can use ricotta for anything. Okay. And she also adds mozzarella. I like a lot of cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put a little tomato sauce down on the bottom of the pan so that they, they won't stick. She uses homemade tomato sauce and sprinkles some parmigiano over the top. Marie makes crepe parcels with the ricotta mixture. They're very easy to, to roll because they're very soft. She covers them with more tomato sauce. This is really, I think, to taste. And bakes them in a moderate oven for 20 minutes. Crispelli or manicotti, this is lovely Italian food. Buon appetito. Don't let it fall off or anything, but just... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great job. <laughs> Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.